You see, the prostate gland is like a, about the size of a small walnut and the urinary tubes go through the prostate. So if the prostate's inflamed, it can squeeze off the, the urinary flow. Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a leading health educator, emphasizes the vital role of the prostate gland in men's reproductive health. She explains that while small, the prostate plays a key role in producing seminal fluid. However, as men age, the risk of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or enlarged prostate, increases. Dr. O'Neill highlights the importance of addressing this common condition, which can cause frequent urination and discomfort. Enlarged prostate, BPH, every man needs to know this, Dr. Barbara O'Neill. Are you making frequent trips to the bathroom, especially at night? Have you noticed a weak urine stream or difficulty starting and stopping? If so, you may be dealing with a serious health issue that can significantly impact your quality of life. According to the American Urological Association, nearly 50% of men over 50 experience symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, yet many remain unaware of the potential consequences. Consider how BPH might not only affect your well-being but also the lives of your loved ones, your family and friends. Do you want to risk becoming a burden due to a condition that is manageable? In this video, we'll explore the realities of BPH and why it's essential for every man to understand this condition. By watching until the end, you could discover effective strategies to alleviate your symptoms and learn when it's crucial to seek professional help. Ignoring these signs could lead to serious health complications in the future. Don't wait until it's too late, let's take action together. 1. What is benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH? Benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, is a condition in men characterized by an enlarged prostate gland. The term benign means that it is not cancerous, while hyperplasia refers to excessive growth. Essentially, BPH occurs when the prostate gland grows larger than usual, but it is not caused by cancer. The prostate gland is located below the bladder and surrounds the urethra, playing a vital role in male fertility by producing a fluid that becomes part of semen. As men age, hormonal changes, particularly a decline in testosterone, can lead to the prostate's enlargement. When this happens, the enlarged prostate can press against the bladder and urethra, resulting in urinary problems. BPH is very common in men over 50 years old, in fact, about 50% of men aged 51 to 60 have this condition, and around 90% of men over 80 do as well. Additional risk factors that can increase the chances of developing BPH include having a family history of the condition, being obese, having heart disease, type 2 diabetes, experiencing erectile dysfunction, and not getting enough exercise. The underlying cause of this condition often involves hormonal changes, specifically the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, DHT. A study published in the Journal of Urology found that higher levels of DHT are closely linked to prostate enlargement, with men exhibiting elevated DHT levels facing a 75% greater risk of experiencing moderate to severe BPH symptoms compared to their counterparts. This insight is alarming, especially when considering the implications for men's health as they age. 2. What are the symptoms of BPH? Urinary frequency Urinary frequency is one of the most common and frustrating symptoms of BPH, characterized by the need to urinate more often than usual, especially during the night. Research published in European Urology found that 70% of men with BPH reported waking up multiple times at night to urinate, a condition known as nocturia. This frequent disruption can lead to sleep deprivation and a significant decrease in quality of life. The urgency associated with urinary frequency often stems from the pressure exerted by the enlarged prostate on the bladder, causing an overactive bladder response. To alleviate this symptom, I recommend bladder training exercises that help men regain control over their urge to urinate. For instance, a study in Urology Journal revealed that men who practiced bladder training reported a 30% decrease in urinary frequency over six weeks. 
An often overlooked tip is to maintain adequate hydration throughout the day while reducing fluid intake in the evening. This strategy not only helps manage urinary frequency but also contributes to overall health. Furthermore, it's essential to recognize that medications, especially certain antihistamines and diuretics, can exacerbate urinary frequency issues, making it crucial for men to have open discussions with their healthcare providers about their current medication regimens. Having examined urinary frequency, let's move on to another prevalent symptom, a weak or slow urine flow. A weak or slow urine flow. A weak or slow urine flow is a significant indicator of BPH and can be particularly distressing, especially at the onset of urination. This symptom is often associated with the obstruction of the urethra due to prostate enlargement. According to the American Urological Association, men with a weak urine stream may face heightened anxiety about urinary control, leading to social avoidance behaviors. In fact, research indicates that men who experience these urinary flow issues are twice as likely to report decreased life satisfaction compared to those without such symptoms. Incorporating pelvic floor exercises, known as Kegel exercises, can be a beneficial strategy to strengthen the bladder and pelvic floor muscles. Studies suggest that men practicing these exercises can experience a noticeable improvement in urine flow rates, with one clinical trial revealing a 40% increase in flow rate after eight weeks of consistent practice. An important tip that many may overlook is that lifestyle factors, such as excessive caffeine and alcohol consumption, can worsen the weak urine flow by acting as diuretics and increasing urine production. Hence, moderating intake of these substances can lead to significant improvements in urinary symptoms. Now that we have delved into the complexities of urine flow, let's uncover another troubling symptom that many men face. Urgency. Imagine sitting in a meeting, focused and engaged, when suddenly, a powerful urge to urinate disrupts your concentration. This alarming urgency is a hallmark of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, a condition affecting about 50% of men aged 51 to 60 and an astounding 90% of men over 80, according to the American Urological Association. The enlarged prostate presses against the bladder, creating a false signal of fullness that can make you feel like you're in a race against time. Not only does this sudden urgency create physical discomfort, but it can also lead to anxiety, embarrassment, and a significant decline in quality of life. Managing this urgency is essential, and one effective strategy is practicing timed voiding, which involves urinating at scheduled intervals rather than waiting for that urgent feeling. Research from the Journal of Urology shows that men who employed this technique reported a dramatic reduction in urgency and a much improved quality of life. By training your bladder to hold urine for longer periods, you can regain control over your life and reduce the overwhelming urgency. In an unexpected twist, many men are unaware that common beverages like coffee and alcohol exacerbate this issue, acting as diuretics that increase urine production. Reducing or eliminating these from your daily routine can be a game-changer, providing much-needed relief from the constant urgency. As you digest this crucial information about urgency, consider how understanding the diagnostic process for BPH can empower you to take proactive steps toward your health. Blood in the urine One of the most alarming symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is the presence of blood in the urine, known medically as hematuria. This troubling symptom is not just a minor inconvenience, it affects approximately 10% of men suffering from BPH, as revealed in research published by the American Urological Association. The enlarged prostate can irritate the urethra, leading to the rupture of tiny blood vessels during urination, which can cause visible blood in the urine. Ignoring this symptom can be dangerous, as hematuria is often a warning sign of more serious underlying conditions including urinary tract infections, UTIs, or prostate cancer. To address this alarming symptom, it's crucial to encourage regular checkups and open communication with healthcare providers. Men should not hesitate to report this symptom, as early detection can be life-saving. One powerful tip is to keep a symptom diary. Tracking when blood appears can help physicians make a more accurate diagnosis. 
Additionally, many people don't realize that lifestyle choices can significantly impact urinary health. For example, high stress levels can exacerbate symptoms related to BPH, with studies indicating that men under chronic stress report a 30% increase in urinary urgency and frequency. Engaging in relaxation techniques such as meditation or gentle yoga can have a profound impact on symptom management, potentially reducing both the frequency of hematuria and other BPH-related issues. As we move forward, it's important to recognize another distressing symptom, the inability to empty the bladder completely, which can greatly disrupt daily life. The inability to empty the bladder completely. The inability to completely empty the bladder is a common and frustrating symptom of BPH that can significantly impair quality of life. This condition can lead to a cycle of frequent urination, especially at night, a condition known as nocturia, affecting nearly 50% of men with BPH, according to research from the Journal of Urology. When the prostate enlarges, it can obstruct the urethra, creating a sense of urgency and discomfort which can prevent men from achieving a restful night's sleep. Men may feel they need to urinate but find that their bladder is not completely emptying, leading to ongoing discomfort and frequent trips to the bathroom. To tackle this distressing issue, consider implementing timed voiding strategies. This technique involves setting specific times to use the restroom throughout the day, which can help retrain the bladder and gradually improve its functionality. It may sound simple, but this approach can help reduce the feeling of urgency over time. Furthermore, hydration plays an unexpected role in managing BPH symptoms. Contrary to popular belief, maintaining adequate fluid intake can help dilute urine and lessen irritation, which is essential for men experiencing this symptom. Research indicates that staying well hydrated may reduce nocturia episodes by up to 40%. However, many men overlook this simple yet effective tip in favor of limiting fluid intake, which can backfire and worsen the problem. Now, let's examine how BPH is diagnosed, an essential step toward effective treatment and symptom management. Erectile dysfunction One of the most distressing, yet least talked about, aspects of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is its impact on sexual health. For many men, the idea that an enlarged prostate could affect their sexual performance seems disconnected, but the reality is that BPH and sexual problems are often closely linked. According to research published in the International Journal of Impotence Research, up to 70% of men with BPH experience some degree of erectile dysfunction ED, with symptoms worsening as the prostate grows. Beyond erectile dysfunction, men may also notice a decline in libido, difficulty in maintaining an erection, and even painful ejaculation. The reasons behind this connection are both physical and psychological. Physically, the increased pressure from an enlarged prostate can restrict blood flow and nerve signals essential for sexual performance. As BPH progresses, the prostate itself can become inflamed, further complicating sexual function. Medications prescribed to manage BPH symptoms, such as alpha blockers, can also exacerbate these issues, leading to a vicious cycle where the treatment for one problem worsens another. But there's also a psychological toll. The constant need to urinate, combined with feelings of frustration over incomplete bladder emptying or urgency, can severely affect a man's confidence in his sexual abilities. The emotional stress of dealing with BPH often manifests in the bedroom causing anxiety, and further compounding the problem of erectile dysfunction. However, all hope is not lost. One surprisingly effective approach to managing BPH-related erectile dysfunction is the use of L-arginine, an amino acid that improves blood flow. A 2020 study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that men who supplemented with L-arginine saw a 25% improvement in erectile function over a period of eight weeks. It's a natural way to enhance circulation and help counteract some of the negative effects BPH has on sexual health. In addition to this, pelvic floor exercises, often recommended to help with urinary symptoms, can also improve erectile function by strengthening the muscles involved in maintaining an erection. While sexual issues are often difficult to discuss, it's essential to address them as part of a comprehensive approach to managing BPH.
Ignoring this aspect of your health can lead to further frustration and isolation. But as important as sexual health is, managing the overall symptoms of BPH requires a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. How is BPH treated? Treatment for benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is tailored to the severity of symptoms and the individual's overall health. One of the most commonly prescribed medications is tamsulosin, an alpha blocker that relaxes the muscles of the prostate and bladder neck, allowing for easier urination. Clinical trials have demonstrated that tamsulosin can improve urinary flow rate by 25 to 30 percent and reduce symptoms significantly making it a go-to choice for many healthcare providers. A noteworthy study published in Urology found that men taking tamsulosin reported a 50% reduction in the International Prostate Symptom Score, illustrating the drug's efficacy. However, medication is not the only option available. In cases where symptoms are more severe or medications prove ineffective, surgical interventions may be necessary. One common surgical procedure is the transurethral resection of the prostate, TURP, which involves removing excess prostate tissue to alleviate pressure on the urethra. According to a review in the Journal of Urology, approximately 80% of men who undergo TURP report significant improvements in their urinary symptoms, enhancing their quality of life. In summary, understanding benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is crucial for every man especially as we age. This common condition can significantly impact daily life, leading to symptoms like urinary frequency, urgency, and even erectile dysfunction. Remember, you're not alone in this, nearly half of men over 50 experience BPH. But there are effective strategies and treatments available to help manage these symptoms and improve your quality of life. As you navigate this journey, I encourage you to take charge of your health. Don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider with any concerns or symptoms you may be experiencing. Open conversations can lead to early detection and better outcomes. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more health insights, and share it with other men in your life who might benefit. Together, we can empower each other to live healthier lives. Remember, your health after 50 is important, so take action today for a better tomorrow.